So we're actually down here in New Jersey today and I'm with Michael Gerard, who has a new backpack for the ROV, which is actually much lighter. Yeah, much better. And how is it going up the hill? Oh, it's still exhausting, but it's much better. It takes off a significant, significant amount of weight. So I definitely appreciate the backpack more. Yeah, so weight is always a concern with these trips because we got to hike out into the woods and we are heading towards, oh, what'd you find? Oh, nice. Yeah. So we saw the tailings coming up the hill and now we actually got an open at it. This is probably the Tar Hill mine. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's that's wide open at it. But this isn't the mine that we're going to today. We're actually heading towards a mine that dates back to colonial times, the Andover mine. And our goal is to ROV this mine and see what lies in the very depths of the flooded workings. And this is a very historically significant mine because it was worked during colonial times, but during the Revolutionary War, it was confiscated by the government and all of the iron that came from this mine was used solely for the war effort. So it has a significant history in um, the American Revolution. So we're about maybe three quarters of a mile away from that mine now, but let's check out this Tar Hill mine. Maybe this will be an interesting uh, mine to explore. All right, we're heading into the Tar Hill Mine, and here we go. Oh, that's funny. That's it. All right, well, we made it. everywhere there's pits and they must have been finding a really good vein of iron wow here's a big drop right here with deep water that is incredibly heavy what do you think 60 70 pounds probably easily oh look this could be the hematite down there. It's a little attic right down there. I'm not sure. Or am I seeing wrong? Oh, wow. Yeah. Through the, yeah, if you look through the front. All right. So I've climbed all the way down to the bottom of this pit and Michael Gerard thought he saw an attic from up at the top, but we couldn't quite tell. But look at this chasm way down there. Hey, I'll know in a second. Oh my God. It is an attic. Looks very interesting. A little wet, but let's find out what's inside. Wow, it keeps going. Looks like there's ties on the floor. Oh, look, yeah, there's uh, that looks like a railroad spike in the tie. What do you think? How deep should we go? Oh, up to our neck? Up to our neck. See how far we can make it. Okay. Well, remember, adits are driven upward. Yeah. All right, it gets kind of deep and let's see, I think it ends so close. Oh, it looks like it ends in fill. Oh, this was a haulage tunnel. A haulage tunnel, it, it entered, it must have exited the other side. Yeah, this was how they got the ore out. That's the exit, that's the exit for the pit. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna map it. We learned that this is actually not the mine itself, it's a passage to bring it out to the other side so you can pull the ore through instead of going up these incredibly high cliffs in this crater-like hole they dug out. All right, and the scan just processed and that tunnel is 120 feet long. So we could use that to figure out where on the outside it exited. We'd also probably see a tailings pile there and we'd 
be able to figure out where this original haulage slash drainage at it is on the surface. All right, so we just got to the mine here and it's certainly an impressive sight. There's all sorts of openings along this entire ridge, including ones up high. So this is, see, this seems to be the main edit. Uh, should we go in and see what, uh, see what's in here? Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's make our way in. That's nice. Fantastic. Um, I love the fact that the water was very clear when we went in, and the first surprise was that wooden structure that looked like a palisade uh, that was, you know, standing upright. At first, I thought I was looking at the bottom of a false floor, but to see something upright and it seemed to be holding rock back. And then when we followed it and we came out to another exit and was able to surface and see the outside, that was fantastic. That's a first for us to be able to go through a passage far enough to be able to come out another attic. 